And welcome back everyone, we're still in the well and we're going to take on stage 2. Which is uh, pretty much the same deal as the uh, previous stage. But now we get to uh, deal with some uh, splitting pathways, but uh, nothing too intense really. Um, here's a nice arrow down, but don't go down because uh, it'll, you will end up dead. Again, punch the guys through the seaweed when possible, just to have an easy time. And be sure to grab the key here. See how that's a uh, trap? Stupid red balls will instantly kill you, of course, as anything in this game. And ships will also shoot out hot balloons to the side. And that shark almost uh, grabbed me. Since, uh, yeah, it will be, it's a bit hard to align your shots here uh, with the sharks and avoid damage since you will float up and down a bit. Here's the first split in the level, and whenever a split comes up in this stage, go left. Since the right way will always get you to one of those toxic barrels, which I can't hit for some reason. Let's do it the old fashioned way. There we go. So, whenever there's a split in the level, go left, at least in this stage. And here's a destructible wall with a toxic barrel behind it, defending the annoying key here, which is a red key on a red background. Very, very mean, guys. That's poor level design, in my opinion, but whatever. Here's another shark. What you do want to do with sharks is go diagonally uh, after them and then hit them and then hang around. Here, I like to uh, hang to the left here uh, and to the top to avoid the snail. So you can easily pick off the uh, enemies here. Since they're sharks, you really need to go diagonally, but uh, that also runs the risk of running into them if your timing is off. Here's a slurpee defending a key. Uh, what you want to do here is wait till they shoot, and as they slurp, go up and, sh and uh, hit them. Uh, you do want to be careful as they do it in a random pattern. Sometimes they only slurp once, sometimes they slurp two eyes, sometimes three times, and the same for their shots. So whenever you're up there, be sure you are ready to get out of there as it uh, shoots. Uh, let's get rid of the uh, toxic brigade here. All enemies in uh, these stages take only two hits, uh, luckily. There are none take three hits, apart from these walls, I guess. And there's another uh, invincibility uh, time, which is uh, sweet, of course. Although we don't get to use much of this one, uh, unfortunately. But there is a snail there, uh, which is totally going to get it. There you go. And a sharky will take you. And is there anything uh, down there which we can take? We can fit through the hole. Ooh, that was close again. It's very annoying that the uh, invisibility period, invincibility period, doesn't uh, give a signal when it ends. Although I do believe it has a second uh, delay. I mean, when it's over, you're still invincible for uh, just a bit uh, longer. So here we went left again, uh, since otherwise you would run in that stupid barrel again. And there's a destructible wall here to get rid of the barrel and grab the key either way, so it's much easier this way. Okay, we're almost uh, at the end I think. It's just, uh, just pass all that crap, you don't want to deal with it. And here are some bunch of coins and the exit on top of that uh, chick. There's the girl there with a rubber ducky on her head holding a flag. So random. <laughs> I love this game. Anyway, that's the end of uh, this part. I hope to see you again for the next part, yeah, which uh, is going to be a bit harder, I think. But uh, yeah, you'll see. And I'll see you. Bye.